upon a time, in a faraway land, there was a tiny village by the name of Kamaki. Legend tells of a horrible beast that threatened the residents. It also tells of the wolf that risked their all to protect them. Controlling the very fabric of his existence, this wolf stood up against a beast many times its size and banished the darkness. This ethereal wolf's value attack ushered in an era of tranquility. The village's heart swelled with respect and adoration of the wolf. everyone, this is Autopostrophe. Let's check out Okami on PC in 4K. Let's say Okami HD. But you had another HD version. <laughs> it's more HD. Uh, I'm not sure how much time I'm going to keep selling this game. <laughs> um, okay, so... Sound settings. Let me tell you, it was actually hard to get a controller to work with this game. I mean, I've never quite had so much trouble just even getting a USB controller to work, or to recognize it. Uh, and then to recognize 4K was a whole nother set of obstacles. Um, so, probably this is not going to be uh, a very, very straightforward uh, install if you're playing on PC. Uh, anyway, uh, we are at the uh, UHD full screen. The music is on. We're going to have our graphics settings at high. There's really only three choices. Uh, unfortunately, you can't dig into it any more than that. I can't tell you how many times I've tried to play this game. I've, I've, I've bought it in its original release and in its HD release. And every time I've gotten bored after the first you know, third of the game. But we're gonna try again this time, and hopefully we'll see the end of this thing. in a grove of proud and beautiful cherry blossoms. Each and every tree around the quiet bird was honored as a god. However, the village was not without its dark secrets. Satiate the appetite of the Orochi, a fearsome cave dwelling beast. A young maiden was offered as a sacrifice at the annual festival. With a body like a mountain and eight heads mounted on next, the size of tree trunks, its blood red eyes alone were said to curse anyone who gazed into them. No one dared disobey the horrific beast. Sacrifice drew near. 
mysterious white wolf appeared outside the village. This wolf, his coat as brilliant as snow, was the Chiranu. The wolf kept a watchful eye on anyone who ventured outside the village and made a habit of patrolling the streets at night. People assumed the wolf to be a familiar of Orochi. One villager took it upon himself to face the fearsome Shiranu. The warrior Nagi attempted many times to challenge the wolf, but his attempts were thwarted by Shiranu's swift movements. Before long, the night of the accursed festival had arrived. A white plumed arrow heralded the coming sacrifice. Piercing the sky, the arrow shot its shaft squarely into the home of Nami, the village's most beautiful maiden. Nagi, harboring a secret love for Nami, was enraged by this sign. Determined to put an end to Orochi once and for all, Nagi traveled to the beast's cave in the place of his beloved. Cave, a place as dark as evil itself, served as Orochi's home as Nagi stood bravely before the entrance. A beast appeared, eyes glowing, crimson upon eight thrashing necks. Orochi stood tall before him, anxious for another sacrifice. Nagi leapt with incredible grace, swinging his blade valiantly. On and on he sliced, well into the moonless night. But Orochi's hide was like steel. The blade left nary a scratch. At long last, Nagi, his energy spent from the intense battle, dropped to his knees, fatigued and gasping for breath. He knew he was staring death at in the face. It was then that the wolf appeared. As if to protect Nagi, it stood its ground before Orochi. In the darkness of the cave, the wolf's coat shone brilliantly. Alas, he was shooting the wolf that dwelled outside the village. Bearing its fearsome claws, Shuno leapt towards Orochi. Orochi reared its terrifying heads, readying its fangs for battle. The two beasts struggled wildly, crashing in the darkness. Mysterious and terrifying, the spectacle continued. Shuno summoned gusts of divine wind to counter Orochi's flames. Orochi closed in on Shunu, sharpened claws whistling. A gigantic tree suddenly sprouted forth, shielding the wolf. Shunu fought down now to gain the upper hand. However, Orochi, protected by mystical power, was not easily bested. Shunu, covered in gashes, majestic coat dyed crimson, stood exhausted before the mighty Orochi. Orochi saw a chance to strike what would, be, what would be the final blow. But Shunu refused to give in with its, with, the, with its last ounce of strength. The majestic wolf gazed heavenward and unleashed a mighty howl. Suddenly, the black clouds overhead dissipated. The light from above glinted off Nagi's sword as a beacon of hope. Guided by his sword, Nagi, who had been taking shelter in the shadows, stood proudly to face his adversary, channeling all his strength into his scarred and battered arms. He leapt ferociously towards Orochi, his sword poised high. 
hold the sword dense in his hands, like a puppet on a string. One by one, Roti's fearsome heads separated from their owner. Roti's broken body collapsed in a lake of its own blood. That instant, the curse that plagued the villagers was lifted. As the battle subsided, the sun shone once again in the sky. Shirunu has succumbed to Orochi's poison and struggled to breathe. Nagi scooped the beast into his arms and returned to Kamaki. When they reached the village, Shirunu was no longer moving. The village elder gently stroked the wolf's head. In response, Shirunu let out a hoarse and pitiful bark. Then closed its eyes and drifted off as into slumber. Peace had at last returned to Kamaki Village. In honor of Shirunu's heroic exploits, the villagers erected a shrine and placed a statue of the wolf within it. Nagi's sword was christened Tsukyomi and placed inside the moon cave. The villagers all looked forward to an age of endless peace. But this is not the end of the story. There is more to this tale than most people know. One hundred years had passed since Nagi and Shunu's heroic exploits. It happened so quickly that no one in the village even took notice. Broken my bonds. Speak the words. I wish darkness unto the world. Utter that prayer unto me. Unleash my power. Tragedy suddenly swept over the land. Prophecy of Dean. What 
has transpired to bring about such calamity. I must act quickly. There's no time to lose. My power has diminished over the years I spent protecting this area. I don't have much time left in this world. Amatarsu, now is the time. You have never needed your power more. Shine your divine light upon this broken and polluted world. Let your heavenly rays become our hope as you guide us all. Such divine white light, such beauty and grace. The only one capable of such a wondrous spectacle is none other than our mother and the origin of all that is, Amatarts. How delightful to see that the Savior whose brave sacrifice sealed away the evil demon so many years ago has not changed one bit. Seeing you emerge after so many years spent as a statue brings happiness to my heart. Amatras, gaze above you and take in the condition of the sky. Since your untimely departure from our mind, from our midst, the world has succumbed to devious and vicious beasts. They have ravaged our fine and bountiful country of Nippon. But never have the circumstances been worse than they are at this very moment. Please use your powers to banish the darkness and punish those who would do us harm. Hmm? Huh? What's this? Has something stolen its way into my robe? Sure, make a big fuss. I was just trying to make the conversation a bit more interesting. That's all. Well, you're nothing in my clothes again, Bug. Bug? I told you a thousand times not to call me that. I'm a wandering artist. My name's Sue. Wandering artist Sue. I'll show you just how great I am, and it won't be long till you're bowing before my great crush. Well, what do you think? Even cuter than the real thing, no? What's with you, Furball? You look kinda down in the dumps. Actually, you look kind of familiar. Got it. You look just like that statue of Shun. Oh, what do you think you're doing? You crazy? As a guy like me, you should never be covered in wolf slobber. You'll regret messing with me and the great. with the. You'll regret messing with the great Yasun. Don't make me use my prized sword. Then come against you. What's that growling sound? Why is it so dark anyway? Oh, great guard, I'm you. I've used all the power I have to protect Kamaki Village. The village lives on. Their spirits lie encased in my fruit. Cut free, and the village will be reborn. I trust you. 
for two to lead us down. I can. And your awesome power can restore life to the world. The trees return to normal, huh? That suck here, girl. Sure said some weird stuff. The village of spirits are being kept inside the fruit. That's the fruit. The girl said that. If you cut it down, the village will be restored. But uh, it's awfully high up there. If you don't use some kind of special power, there's no way you're going to reach it. This darkness is really getting to me, too. A lot can happen while you're taking a nap. Fruit sure is growing in a high place. The only way we're going to reach it reach that is with some kind of special power. I don't remember any place like this in the village. Well, we better keep our eyes peeled. We can use the right stick to look around. That button change, changes your point of view. Boy, you really look so helpless. Are you sure you're gonna be okay? Oh god, uh, let's see. Japanese version of what should be left and right here. I'm not sure what the logic is behind the pointing of, you know, pushing left makes the camera go right. Yeah, Do not have control options, huh? Not to say. Just a little hazy, you know, not quite crisp. That's always bothered me, and I always thought it was just related to the PlayStation's, you know, crappy native resolution. Hold on! That's an origin mirror. They say once your reflection appears on its surface, your memories will be stored in the mirror for all eternity. Well, to put it shortly, you can save your progress. Here. Let me give you a little advice. You should save a number of game files. That way, you could always go back if you get stuck or something. You gotta be prepared, especially while you're still learning the ropes. Now, where's the test go faster, seriously? It makes it all awful hard to read when I... The text just scrolls so slow. It's like, ah, I think the end sentence is gonna end now. It didn't end. There's still more to say, damn it. Just wait and be broken. If you bust them, there might be something good inside. Press X to bust them with your head. Like that. Way to go, my furry friend. You can do that anytime you see something you can break. I mean, that little bit of blurriness always, always screws with my vision, honestly. 
It's just like there's, it just feels like there's lines on top of, yeah, it's like after shadows, on top of after shadows. I guess it's intentional, but well, I don't like the right ones. It's like, you know, intentional blurry <laughs> vision. It's like, no, no, I love, I love the way my sleeping chism looks. Whoa, whoa, hold on there, furball. Get a load of that. That chest looks mighty tempting. Let's go check it out. Getting up that high ought to be a piece of cake. Press A to jump. Then press A again to do a wall jump. But make sure you press it firmly so you jump really high. I knew you could do it. They say good luck is found in hiding high places. So keep your eyes peeled. You don't want to miss anything, any treasure. Holy bones. Small. Latra's favorite snack. Source three units of solar energy. What is it? Was it? Oh, it's kind of long. Mind if I call you Ami? Listen, Ami. Ever heard of the spirits of the brush? Good brushwork has its own soul. At least that's what they say. Just watch. It'd take all day to explain. A picture's worth a thousand words, right? Nice, huh? Just a little technique I've mastered called rejuvenation. It's one of many brush techniques that use divine power. It's a brush god power that can restore broken or missing things. I practice really hard just to master this one technique. But there are 13. Each one is a power of one of the 13 brush gods. Originally, all 13 were a single power, powerful deity. When the deity died, its power was split into 13 separate gods. Gods now dwell within objects all around us, but... God or no god, how could anyone have the power to master all 13? Stardust River? I sure don't see anything like that around here. Could be that little pup over there, could it? Wow, look at the stars twinkle. I haven't seen such a people in nighttime sky in ages. Hey, look, are those stars forming a pattern? Or is it just me? Hmm, there's one missing. Guess I'll just have to draw the missing star. Ah. Looks like I'm just not ready to draw missing stars. Press right button to hold the brush, then X to draw. I sure spent a heck of a lot of time practicing. Practicing that?
If it isn't Mother, a Matruf. I apologize for not contacting you sooner during these long years. Having never forgotten you, I, Yomigami, God of Restoration, have eagerly awaited this day when we could again meet. While you were away, the thirteen spirits of the brush that you once possessed, including myself, have been scattered across this land of men and now lie in disarray. I became a constellation and managed to survive until now. The time has come for you to seek out and reunite all of the techniques. The power is what is needed to restore the dry riverbed of the heavens and renew the flow of stardust. Wow, that was Yomagami, the god of rejuvenation. Wait, so you have the power of rejuvenation now? Can you really use it to restore the river of the heavens? That would mean that you were as good as good with a brush as yours truly. Nah, it couldn't be true. Who else could master this incredible god technique? Stardust would get the river flowing again. Nah, it's one thing to fix a bridge. Fixing a starry river? There's no way you could pull off a stuff like that. Stardust. So this really must be the river of the heavens. But what I really want to know is who the heck drew the darn thing? you found, Furball. This astral palace here is amazing. It can swallow up lots of food. Then when it's full, it can revive its owner if he or she dies. Let's start feeding it with whatever food we can find around here. Sour apple fills acid pouch a little bit. Peach. Juicy and fragrant peach fills acid pouch a little bit. Orange. Orange with sharp citrus taste fills acid pouch a little bit.
look at that. It just looks... just looks blurry. <laughs> 4K blurry. As I said, I, I, I sort of attributed to the uh, crafted base level PS2 uh, resolution of where the game originally came from. Uh, but my god, why not clean it up for the HD one? That just... Source in really bad shape. God sure, sure didn't do much to protect this place. That really was your brushwork all this time. How'd you get so good? Exactly who are you anyway? Another constellation. This one looks like a. Ooh, dead spaces. I mean, the dead zone's kind of high on this setup. Mother Amatris. It's been a long time. With all of these monsters around, the only place I could hide is in this shrine dedicated to the ancient heroes. If there's anything I can do to assist you in your endeavors, I'm at your service. Make good use of the sword as it was designed to conquer as it was designed to conquer evil. That was the god, Tashkum. Master of the power slash technique. Wait a minute. You're getting all these powers. You're just like that Shiranu. You know, the wolf who fought and died alongside the great Nagi? Shiranu died. The wolf's power was split into, into the 13 brush gods. This is crazy. Shiranu and Nagi? It's just like the legend. Well, anyway, I've never seen this power slash technique myself. How about showing your stuff off on that boulder over there? Let me see you sliced in half by drawing a single line. I won't believe it till I see it. Wow! I didn't think you had it in you, Furball. I'm not even in the same league as you. Yes, I really overestimated myself. Hey, Furball. Uh, I mean, Matris. I've made up my mind. If you're sure you were born, that means you can master all 13 techniques, right? In that case, I think I'll tag along until I'm as good as you. 
Lucky you. <laughs> it's no use trying to change my mind. There's no one stopping me once I've made the decision. You've heard enough about me. Now that you've mastered the power flash, cut down that thing Saki was talking about. Let's go back and give it a shot. This is a statue. That's a very human I always wanted to draw it. You fight a lot. I feel like my vision's going bad. Even though that's just the way the game looks. I mean, look at this. This thing is closest to the camera, and it's got like fuzzy edges all the way around it.
like all these loading screens are like super crisp when you play the game and there's like these halo lines everywhere. Village has been restored. Sakia came through big time. Ruby was protecting the village. I sure wish I could have spent some more time in her kimono. If you know what I mean. <laughs> Not seriously. The boss is running around and all. The village could still be in danger. Let's go see how they're all doing down there. for travelers in the area. But we have better things to do. Let's go. What in the world? I don't know where there being a statue here. Well, whatever. Let's go talk to the villagers. feeling about this. Captain Village is supposed to be famous for its scenic beauty. I wonder what's going on down there. Time to stroll around, reading all the signs. There's a statue here too. It's like the villagers have turned to stone or something. Again? It's not one of those smaller monsters that they're that are lurking about. More like that's gotta belong to something much bigger. Let's hurry up and find somebody with a pulse around here. Oh good, this one's not moving. Everyone here was perfectly fine just a few hours ago. There's definitely something strange going on here. The village is back, but what's up with this dark sky? Maybe it's dark outside the village, too. Let's find some high ground so we can take a look. Oh, 
Let's go back to that sacred deck we were we were on before. This is bad. The sun's not even shining. It's as black as night as far as the eye can see. Not a single villager can move a muscle. Is it some kind of curse? Did a monster do this? It's not going to stay like this forever, is it? Only the sun we're out to light our way. If we draw a circle in the sky, we'd have ourselves a sun. But I guess that'd be impossible, even for a god like you. Maybe we better seek out another brush god for help. Of course, if you had that kind of power from the start, that'd be a different story. What the? Is Amatus, name of the sun god. So it follows that you have the sunrise technique from the start. With it, you can even turn night into day. Wow, you're a little run of the mill god, that's for sure. Falling brush is like music from the heavens. That's a line from one of my grandfather's poems. He felt a skilled artist was like a musician of shape and color. Since you're such a great artist yourself, why don't we name your brushwork after that poem of yours? It's called Celestial Brush. After all, your brush did bring out the sun. Well, Lani, let's get back to the village. You gotta see if the villagers are back to normal. Hmm? Who are you? Village Elder, Mr. Orange. A white wolf? You're the one who fought that terrible creature with Nagi. Could possibly be the legendary issue in me. No, it can't be. The story is a hundred years old. Still, you look a lot like that statue of Shiro. On the other hand, you don't look quite as smart. Oh, 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 no need to growl like that. Do you really understand what I'm saying? Well, I'm not one to mix words. I just stated the facts. What's this sudden chill down my spine? They come, Furball! Those are the monsters that are plaguing these lands. They sneak into our villages and cause all sorts of trouble. Step aside, Furball. This is a job for my trusty sword, Denkum. some praise. Look, see how that dried up stream began flowing again? That's because the that's because ridding an area of monsters resource God's power. Uh, to the land. People call it divine intervention. The more you restore the land to its natural beauty, 
the more praise you get. It's the source of your power. Few people believe in you. Gods these days, and that may weaken you. But if you try real hard, your true power just might shine through. But boy, there sure has been a lot of monsters around lately. And that Mr. Orange you tossed around up on the sacred deck. Looks like he thinks you're a regular wolf. Seems the gods have grown so weak, people can't see them as in people can't see them anymore. <laughs> Oh, uh, anyway, I'll show you around the village. I have a feeling we're in for an epic adventure. This should be fun for a ball. Freshly roasted seas that loving animals can resist. Why, you little devil, look at the sweet grub you found. Wait, wait, this is animal food. Still, we could save it to give to some animals. Let's use it when we try to approach animals later. Something good might come out of using it in the right way. I know gods aren't supposed to use creatures in this manner. But what the heck? Let's make an exception this time. Oh, I almost forgot. There was something I wanted to, sh to tell you. Whenever you want to check the items you you've obtained, just press the start button to open the fan menu. While the fan menu is open, you can check and use the items you have. There are other things you can do there, too. The fan menu is your key to a successful adventure. Humanity's faith made solid and restores a little solar energy. Foul beast, Westerns. Foul beast, well in this place. Concentrate, look hard. See? Right behind you, now! Battles, but I saw it. The fighting went on for exactly 35 seconds.
Ah, never mind. I thought I could bite him. Okay, just about enough of this. I don't know if it's stray dogs or monsters or what. But someone keeps messing up my crops. Going around digging holes with Y makes me mad. But catch you digging around here, you'll get a good thumping. Huh? White wolf? That's just plain weird. Sure looks like a weak little bugger. Think you can beat my dog? I have you, sir? Well, listen to this. This is still my mama tends to, you see. Well, I abuse him managed to dig up nine turnips in a row. Even though my mom was chasing him around trying to slug him. There are actually ten turnips in that field. I abuse is fixing to get all ten. Oh, that's a rare sight. Did you come down from the mountains just to play with us? Well, you better be careful, dear. Lately, some monsters have been attacking the villagers. Do we even know who you're talking to, Grandma? This here is Sharon and Reborn. The wolf and I have, have it covered. These monsters are history. Well, if it is innocent, I'm riding and riding a wolf, are we? This one certainly resembles Shirinu, especially the nose. Hmm. Well, I better get back to my work. <laughs> Jinseng. Oops, bursting with nutrients. Indeed, here. This must be where she ages the sake. It smells good, doesn't it? Wow, what a fine looking wolf. What's your name? Mine's Cushy. It's a pleasure to meet you. Sake Brewer Cushy. Working the fields again, are you? Listen, what? Are you and the wolf together? This is where I grow the rice for making my sake, you know. But I have to manage the harvest all my own. It's hard work. Maybe I should have Susano give me a hand against this again this year. Oh, listen to me blabbering on. Just can't help chatting to you. Hi, Amy. Did you find a friend here? You'll meet many people who want to talk to you like this. You should talk to them two or, th or even three times. Being a god and all, you can actually tell when to talk because you'll see a triangle above their head. That means they still have something to say. It might even be valuable information sometimes. They may just be muttering to themselves, but it pays to listen. 
assistant has a neighbor of mine. He's a little unusual, but he goes around with a huge sword slung over his shoulder. He's always practicing with it. Say he's a direct descendant of our legendary hero, Naki. And he loves his sake, too. He often pops around here to buy it. Make sure to say hello when you see Susano. He could use a friend, I should think. He's always on his own. this? The mail's been mended. Who on earth did that? I completely given up on the idea of making my sake. But now I can get on with polishing the rice. Well, no, well, no time like the rest. I better get started. Dig up all the turbans in my mama's field? No. Don't forget, you have to avoid being slugged by my mama. I'll admit you're the better canine if you do this. Ah, she's gonna try to slug us? Not exactly my idea of a good time, mommy. At least you have your celestial brush, your wicked brush stroke. Fasten to a straw. Fills astral pouch. You're interested in how to brew sake, are you, Snowy? Well, this thing here is for polishing the rice, you see. Oh, I'll tell you what. I've got something I think you'll like. <laughs> Here's just some left of stock from the store. But I made it myself. It's called Vista of the Gods. Oh, but are you even old enough to drink, Snowy? Stop it there. Uh, this is Autopostery watching Okami HD. E er. The Trico? Uh, anyway, we're playing on PC in uh, 4K. Some things look really clean. Some things kind of suffer from uh, the nature of a PS2 conversion, you know, which is some kind of uneven resolution here. Uh, but this is the best it's ever looked, so if you haven't played the game, I would suggest that he's playing some of it. 
It's a pretty big game. I don't know if most people will ever make it all the way to the end. Uh, no, sir, I certainly haven't, but uh, we're going to give it a try this time. Hopefully we'll see, uh, we'll see that ending. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching. I will see you at the next stream. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do that.